going on everybody? I'm Tim Buckley and today we're going to go over how to foam roll the lower body. Now question number one might be, Tim, why do I even need to foam roll? So the first thing we're trying to do is just break up that tissue just a little bit and help start the repairing process and eliminate some of the soreness that you feel. Okay, so we'll go ahead and grab our foam roll. We're going to sit down on the foam roll and we're going to start off with our hamstrings. So for beginners, you just want to go both legs. I'm using my hands behind me and I'm just pushing back and forth. Okay, this is both legs at one time. You can bend one leg to isolate and I'm focusing on my right leg right now. I'm pushing and pulling with my heel and pushing with my hands behind my body. I'm gonna switch, bend the leg, and now I'm just rolling out my hamstrings, okay? We're gonna go fairly quick so that you understand. Now we're gonna move to the calf muscles. Here, we can start off with both at the same time. I've lifted my butt off the ground, and now I'm just rolling back and forth from my Achilles all the way up to the fat part of my calf muscles. Now, if I want to go one at a time, I can choose to go one at a time. I just cross that leg over, and now I'm rolling my calf muscles. Cross that leg over, and now I'm rolling my calf muscles, okay? Now, let's go ahead and knock out the glutes. So one of the easiest ways to really target the glute is to cross this leg over, keep this heel down, place this hand behind you, and lean out to the same side of the glute that you intend to work. So right now I'm rolling out my right glute and I wanna take my time. Take your time when you foam roll. Obviously this is quick, but when you feel that tension, when you feel that pressure point, you wanna get right on top of it so that you can help that muscle tension release, okay? So we'll go ahead and hit the other side. I'd spend up to a minute or two on each muscle grouping and releasing that tissue. All right, here's the other side. I'm just leaning to the left. You can see this arm out here. You can see my foot here, pushing and pulling, rolling back and forth, okay? So we got the calves, we got the hamstrings, and we got the glutes. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go, we're gonna go to this outer leg. Well, our IT band is there, and a lot of people will say, you don't need to roll your IT band, and you shouldn't be rolling your IT band. Everybody's gonna be different, but for me, it doesn't aggravate me to roll my IT band or to roll this area. So you wanna cross this leg over here. One leg is off the ground, one leg is on the ground, and I'm pushing and pulling again. Here, just like that. Then what you wanna do is the same thing on the other side. Take our time, set it up here. Cross this leg over, that leg is off the ground. I'm pushing and pulling back and forth, okay? Take your time, be patient, spend at least a minute or two on each muscle group, okay? Now, we can hit the top of the quads by simply just laying on top of the foam roller, just like this. Elbows down, feet are off the ground, legs are straight. Once again, push, and pull. Spend two minutes here. Take your time. Be patient. Now, if we want to intensify this right here, we're going to cross one leg over. And now I'm going to use my arms, push and pull. Now from here, I'm only rolling out my right quad. So it looks a little bit like this. From the back, I'm here. And then I'm crossed over just like that and I'm rolling the right quad. I can do the same thing for the other side. Just like that, okay? And once again, you wanna take your time and be patient. So, another muscle that we can go ahead and roll out is this muscle right next to our shin. Here, when we pull up into dorsiflexion, you can see this muscle fires. It's called the anterior tibialis anterior tibialis muscle okay plantar flexion we push away dorsiflexion we pull toward the body you'll see it right there now if you want to use a roller and do this you can but you want to turn the toe in 
All right, you don't want to roll. You don't want to roll your shin like this. You want to turn the toe in so that you can get to the right side or left side of that shin bone. All right. Now, I have this stick roller because this is an easier way to roll out that muscle right there. Okay. Now, this video was to help people understand how to foam roll the lower body. We're going to make another video and go over upper body foam rolling and other techniques. This video is also not for people that have the hypervolt or the Theragun that's going to be able to break down their tissue in a more advanced way. This is for somebody that's just getting into working out and they're having a little bit of muscle soreness and they want to know, Tim, how can I relieve this muscle tension? How can I relieve some of the soreness? How can I recover a little bit faster? And then when I foam roll before my workouts, how can I last a little bit longer in my workouts? Foam rolling will do the trick. It's still a good technique. Use it, give it a try. Drop me a comment if you got a question. Let's get it, baby.